How do we get City Hall to listen to the wisdom of our neighborhoods and respect our strengths? What kind of city do we want for our children, our grandchildren, and for ourselves? These are questions those of us who have formed the People's Campaign have been asking around San Francisco. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Francisco Herrera, and I'm here to seek your vote to serve as mayor of San Francisco in order to redirect the runaway housing market, which is devastating the very fabric of our community. I firmly believe in our wisdom and ability to create a plan and a vision that will allow us to develop San Francisco into a working, family-friendly city again. I only have five minutes for this vision to share with you, so please, for more information, visit our website, peoplescampaign.net. I love San Francisco. I've lived here for almost 30 years. I'm happily married and have been lucky enough to help raise our children here. We've paid into, an, into and benefited from our public schools, hospitals, parks, walking to and from work. My formation as a Jesuit, studying to be a priest, working here at St. Ignatius and at SI College Prep, nour nourished me in my faith in humanity and the essential belief in justice. I also taught, it also taught me respect for the world's traditions and religions. My working class roots instilled in me the life-giving principle of solidarity. I learned to bring together seemingly competing self-interests to work for the greater good. I'm an educator and musician and have dedicated much of this work to help people organize to make public and budgetary change to improve the quality of life of our communities. I've gotten to know many families through our music with children at Mission Playground and Parque Niños Unidos. The physical and spiritual health of San Francisco depends on those who work here, and we should be able to live here, but most city workers cannot. Teachers, nurses, professionals, laborers cannot afford to live here. Our school district reports up to 2,700 children are houseless. People hold jobs in the sunset and are living in their cars. Russian and Chinese elders live in fear of eviction. Tenants from the Richmond to Hunters Point to Yerba Buena Island are living in constant fear of the Ellis Act. Seized by panic, wondering, will I be the next person to get the letter saying, sorry to inform you, your building has been sold? I believe long-term residents and newcomers can come together to make sure San Francisco continues to be the world-class community of communities that it has always been. Our goal, bring San Francisco back to health and start by eliminating the anxiety we've been experiencing as we see neighbors, friends, co-workers, and even city leaders forced out or priced out of the city which we have built by an unchecked housing market. The market is what we make it to be. If it hurts us, we must rein it in. It's not a God, and what is happening here is not natural. The key problem is affordability. We can protect and preserve existing housing for all San Franciscans and produce more affordable housing for those who need it. But affordability is not just paying the rent, it means access to healthy food, excellent education, quality care, culture, the arts, sports, a living wage and good benefits programs, a transit system we can all use, safe streets with community policing. Affordability means alternative clean renewable energy that reduces the cost of electricity, creating real market competition and the lowering of prices. So I ask you to join me I commit as mayor will work on these very issues together with my endorsers, Local 1021 of SCIU, AFT 2121, African Federation of Teachers, the Bernal Heights Community Center, and many, many individuals who support us. Thank you for your support. I count on your vote, your prayers, and very much that we can work together to make a friendly, city for working families again in San Francisco. Let the healing continue.